how to address customer needs in this rapidly changing business and technology landscape. We believe that ecosystems of companies working together produce the best results for adapting quickly to these type of changes. And today, I have the pleasure of talking to Ivo Kerner, and he's the General Manager and Chief Revenue Officer for IBM Cloud. We go deep into customer needs and, and the role of the partner ecosystem. Welcome, Ivo. Ronald, thank you for having me. Yeah, so markets are changing very rapidly. Now from, from your perspective, can you share what kind of changes you see in the market and how you're addressing these changes, and especially with the ecosystem of partners that you have? Um, Ronald, I think... Uh, Again, very very good question, and uh, as you said, yeah, the requirements in the markets are changing rapidly, yeah, and uh, the main dimensions uh, that drive this uh, this change, yeah, especially in the IT industry, is lack of skills. Uh, that's one dimension. We see that uh, <clears throat> in many dimensions, you can't find enough employees, you can't find the right skills. You can't even find enough people that you can train on uh, on the needs and technology needs that you have in your company. That's one dimension. The second one is complexity uh, increases, and it's uh, complexity based on technology. Yeah, um, with uh, the introduction of cloud technologies, I think the, the customer choice increased significantly. But uh, with cloud computing and the various versions of cloud. Uh, it also increased, let's say, uh, the requirements to manage multi-hybrid cloud situations. So that's already uh, two main drivers. And then there is a third one, yeah, which I would describe as a more political and uh, society driver, is you get more and more regulations. Yeah? There are more and more discussions on sovereignty, how you apply this, depending on the industries. And also basically the, what I would describe the, the three major drivers that put a lot of pressure on uh, transformation, innovation uh, in companies and on uh, IT organizations. And uh, my opinion, in our opinion, in IBM, the only way to overcome that is uh, with a couple of different themes. Yeah, um, there is one that is definitely automation. Yeah, you need to invest as a company significantly in automation um, to allow, let's say, the lack of uh, resources, capabilities to drive innovation and not spend too much time on. Uh, operating or running a business, but really spending time on innovation. Uh, the second dimension yeah, where the ecosystem plays a, by far even bigger part is um, you need to find ways yeah, to, to overcome bespoke uh, traditional application development and understand the, the value that ecosystem partners can bring. That's been either in ISV solutions, classical, yeah, you, you procure software as a service offerings, you procure ERP solutions, and it, it becomes more and more important that those solutions are integrated and working on, on common platform, common standard, and common APIs. Um, the second one is, let's say, how can you, let's say, find the right skills with the system partner, system in integrators? So it's a combination of uh, managed services, but definitely of uh, applications and solutions that you can find in the market, yeah? The third one, um, the third driver that is, is driving this is, requires, let's say, a high level of collaboration and standards. Uh, the minute you want to, let's say, comply to regulations and uh, compliance requirements, yeah, especially in, in regulated industries like uh, banking, financial services industries, insurance companies, but more and more also in uh, government and public space. Yeah, So th these are mainly drivers that, that that add complexity on an already uh, very tight uh, and resource limited uh, IT landscape. Yeah, I think you summarized very nicely with the, the skills and the resources, the complexity of the technology and yeah, the, the regulations. So I think conclusion is you can't do it alone. So you focus on an ecosystem of, of partners, which is crucial. Uh, can you give some examples of how customers have Beneficious, uh, benefits basically from, from this new type of ecosystem with partners? Yeah. So, so let, let me take one, one uh, specific scenario because then it becomes a little more, um, let's say, tangible. Yeah. Um, if, if you look at the financial services uh, industry across the world, yeah, and uh, especially in, in Europe, and as we're all based in Europe, um, there's a high demand of uh, serenity and complexity on regulations and compliance that you need to deliver as a uh, as a banking institution in uh, let's say in the european region 
And if you look at why, let's say, uh, those companies have been struggling in the past yeah, to, to apply innovations and ecosystem partners, yeah, ISV solutions, is mainly you need to go through a very rigorous uh, risk assessment process yeah, that, re that requires the proof of every ISV application in every financial services institution. And uh, at one point in time, you don't want to invest in that, uh, let's say, risk assessment process. And what we have been doing with IBM Cloud uh, for financial services, as one example, is basically we built in a technology, we built in a compliance framework and a monitoring on top of that that allows um, banks to understand if the solution that they are applying on, uh, on the cloud is compliant and is fulfilling the risk requirements they have delivered or, let's say, driven by the regulators in Europe. And the benefit for the ecosystem in, in, that, in that environment is, let's say, the entry barrier for banking uh, clients to use your solution is a lot lower. Uh, we basically have uh, proof points that instead of, let's say, running through a 12-month risk assessment process before you really can use that innovation and, and the solution in your, in, in your bank, we can reduce that to six to three months yeah, by just applying that, uh, that financial services framework and control framework. That's really, let's say, accelerating speed for the client and accelerating time to value or time to revenue for an ecosystem partner that is compliant to that, to that framework. I, I like that example. Can you explain a little bit more in detail what the role of the partner was in this type of implementations and, and services you provide? Absolutely. Let's say uh, there's basically two, two dimensions. First of all, um, the partner is really de delivering the client value. Yeah? The ISV solution, the ISV software as a service solution is the key, let's say, is the key innovation driver for a bank. Yeah? But yeah, banks basically struggle to apply and use their technology to what I described, yeah? um, driven by this uh, regulation they need to comply to. And what we are working together with, with the ecosystem partner, the ISV partner at that point in time is we're basically supporting them, first of all, with the compliance framework. We support them with a, a team of experts to help them to make best use of that compliance framework. The partner still needs, let's say, to adopt to the compliance framework, but helps them basically uh, helps him yeah, to, to have a fast, as I said, fast time to revenue, time to value with his end client. Yeah? So we basically, we describe what we are bringing, a kind of accelerator for your time to value for the innovation. And the partner basically just needs to bring his solution, um, architectural insights, and then we work together and make his solution ready and uh, compliant with the regulation. Ivo, thanks a lot for sharing all these insights. I think some great examples, some great cases to make very clear that you can't do it alone. You need partners. It's getting more and more complex. You need all these type of specific resources to make your company successful. Thank you, Ivo. And for the audience, thank you for watching. And we're looking forward to seeing you next time.